Ag PhD full episodes and more are now available on Acres TV, the newest ag platform connecting you to fields of information. Look for us on WatchAcresTV.com. During our Farm Basics time today, we're going to talk about fertilizer applications and specifically flat rate versus variable rate fertilizer. What does that mean exactly and why is it so important that farmers do this? When Brad and I were growing up, our dad would often look at different fields as having different yield goals. Oh, well this field's going to yield 100 bushel, this field's going to yield 150, and he would put a different rate of fertilizer on each field, but he'd put the same rate of fertilizer on the whole field, even though we all knew from one end of the field to the other, it wasn't all going to be a 100 bushel or 150 bushel yield. So the biggest thing today and why farmers want to use variable rate fertilizer applications is because, quite frankly, they have different yield goals in different areas of the field. Now, there are a lot of different ways to set this up because basically you have to create zones or grids out in the field in order to vary that rate. So we'll talk about just how a farmer can do that and how a farmer can do that simply and easily and change this rate as he goes across the field. Well, one way that you can certainly set up variable rate maps is by doing grid soil sampling. So you pull a sample, say every acre of the field, an acre is roughly the size of a football field. So you pull a soil sample in that football field size area and okay, now I can set up my yield goal or maybe my fertility needs based on each one acre of the field. Now, as you're heading across the field, your equipment can adjust the rate as you're going, uh, acre by acre, putting different amounts of fertilizer out there. And honestly, that's how we do things on our farm. Yeah, it is. And so we like doing it with soil tests because then we see what's in the field already for fertility, and then we can actually fix problems. So if we say, all right, we've got too little zinc here in relation to the phosphorus, or let's say we have too little potassium, we can take care of those issues and change that rate as we go across the field spending our money where it needs to be spent, saving it where we can save it. Well, one of the things that you may be thinking is, well, does everybody pull soil samples on every acre? No, of course they don't. A lot of farmers do things differently, and some farmers will say, well, I pull soil samples, but it's every third or fourth year. So what do you do on the off years? Well, there's a new program out called Verify that takes your yield monitor data. So as you're combining the field and you're harvesting, say, corn, for example, well, that yield monitor is taking readings multiple times every acre, and the Verify program can actually set up variable rate fertilizer maps based on what your crop removal was. So you can put fertilizer back and get your soil right back to the fertility it had at the start of the season. So however the farmer does it, the point is there are different rates of fertilizer being applied in different areas of the field. This is the best thing to do economically for the farmer. It's also the best thing to do environmentally because the farmer's not putting fertilizer where it doesn't need to go. So this is just a very wise way to invest fertilizer dollars. And basically, I just look at this as, this is modern farming. Flat rate fertilizer, just one rate across the whole field, that's the way we used to do it. Now we've changed and adapted to make major improvements. Now, if you haven't been out on the farm recently, there is so much technology available and technology that farmers are using in their tractor cabs, in the office, everywhere. And one of those valuable pieces of technology is helping farmers vary the rate of crop nutrition they're putting out on every acre of their farm. Well, one other thing that farmers are trying to target with technology is our Weed of the Week. We'll show you some keys on how to stop this tough weed later in the show. <music> 